That Ace of Cups, guys. That Six of Cups. The Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Swords. And you here in that Empress energy. Possibly this entire new start with your person. And it can include for some of you a proposal. I say that, but I know that's not for everyone. I know that. However, I have to say to you, some of you, that is part of what was going on. Something to do with marriage and family, possibly children. So your person here has been thinking for a long time, doing work here. For a lot of you, that is a proposal. For some of you, it's the proposal for something new together. We see that in the Empress energy. We see this nostalgia coming through your person here with the Six of Cups, and we see them coming here with that offer on the Knight of Pentacles. You are my other half. You are my other half. I love you. I miss you. So much regret. The Ace of Cups twice. The Knight of Pentacles here. The Knight of Swords even, guys, and your person doing that work here behind the scenes, getting ready to come here with that offer with the Six of Cups. Who, Aquarius. Aquarius, your reading um, is amazing. Hi, Aquarius. Hello. Welcome back to the Tarot Closet. With me, Chris. Hi, Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Signs. This is your no contact and or in separation love reading for March 20, 22, 2022. However, readings are timeless for when you get here. So whenever you're here, hello, it might not be March. Also, cross watchers, hello, welcome to the channel. You can be here watching for an Aquarius in your life, cross watching for your sign. Can also be that you're not sure why you're here <laughs> or you are here for an Aquarius in your life and resonate with the reading for yourself. If that happens, please go with it. It means there is something here for you that it's actually your reading. This is also your love tarot reading, of course, your tarot love reading. Today we're looking at modern witch tarot. Guys, um, I have to show you what just got revealed to me. Ace of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> Aquarius, Aquarius, Aquarius. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Also, Aquarius, you are here in the Wheel of Fortune, as well as there's Taurus again, Leo, and Scorpio again. I said Taurus again. <laughs> I meant to say Scorpio again, but Taurus is here. Um, Aquarius, this is looking kind of like somebody might be coming. <laughs> We're going to have to see. You never really know with readings, do you? But we got our first peek here. Let's also see if they come back. Now, I didn't get a, a chance to finish telling you that this is the Modern Witch Tarot deck. Excuse me. We're looking at living life, affirmation, living inspirational cards. And as always, the Tarot Closet channeled love messages and channeled song messages. More love messages here. All right, so before we get started, I want to let you know I do have a giveaway going on right now down below if you want to check the recent videos. It is about four minutes long and the rules <laughs> the, to enter are in the description. Also, I do have playlists if you want to cross watch for your sign or your person sign. And guys, please remember this is a general reading. Take what resonates and throw away the rest. It can feel like a private reading at times. It can also be there are particular messages in particular decks, particular times throughout the reading. Now, the last thing I want to say before we get moving is please remember this is not a prediction. You do have free will. Your outcome is your own Aquarius and cross watchers energies, outcomes can, will, and do change. So please remember that as you're watching your reading today. Let's get started. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Can you please guide our Aquarius watchers and anyone here today in regard to the person they have come here for? 
any questions that might be um, answerable that you might be able to help answer, bring them some clarity, some peace in their hearts, feel loved, whatever it is you want to send through, we welcome it and we thank you. Let's get started, Aquarius. <laughs> well, let's also see. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. There we go. Wanting to come down. Hermit energy right here in your second placement. Look, the Ace of Cups came back. Oh my gosh. Okay, guys. Um, Aquarius, we're going to wait. I'm going to get your cards done, then we will start the reading. I want to remind you guys, you probably already know this if you watch my readings. I do not read reversals. There we go. King of Pentacles. If you are meant to get your message in reverse, as one might say, you will. Okay. Eight of Pentacles. Interesting. Wasn't expecting to see that. Virgo energy there. King of Pentacles. Some more Virgo energy. And the Hermit and card, excuse me, energy, Knight of Pentacles. Oh my goodness. Um, Taurus energy. I felt Taurus here, so I'm not really surprised by that, guys. Seven of Pentacles here and <laughs> the Knight of Swords. Somebody wanting to come in here, offer some clarity, and quite quickly, guys, what else are they offering? That Ace of Cups now, we have seen it twice, okay? Um, that was me, I have to tell you, flipping over a big old stack that was very sloppy shuffling. As I say that, this card is pushing its way out, so we will see what's going on. Six of Cups, Aquarius. Aquarius, Aquarius. This is Scorpio energy coming back. We saw that in the Wheel of Fortune, as you know. Whew, you're reading already. Go ahead and take a look. I'm going to get your overall energy. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Can we have the overall energy for Aquarius's person they have arrived here for today? If you send through an energy that we find out is not for their person, we will accept that. Okay. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Can you please send an overall energy for our Aquarius watchers today? And anyone who is here looking for messages in their reading today. Okay. Guys, just want to tell you, excuse me, that energies can be reversed it can be your person's is yours yours is your person's can also be that the energies belong in the overall reading we will get a better view <laughs> the empress card has come down aquarius 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 lots of divine timing going on here guys um might be coming to that time for some of you we're gonna get a better view but look this is the Five of Cups, as you know. Five of Cups more Scorpio energy. Aquarius, you've been feeling pretty left behind, but we can see here your person is still there. You're still in each other's energy. There you go. There is that those three cups again as well, guys, or that three, excuse me, the three of cups, a lot of divine timing going on here. Now, I want to say to you, I'm not really clear quite yet. I I because I feel your your that your person left you behind, maybe even ghosted you, Aquarius. But I okay. Oh my gosh, did you see what just happened? All right, yeah, well, Spirit just did it for me. I was just about to tell you I wasn't sure if it was reversed yet, but that I also felt your Empress energy <laughs> be getting new things here, um, but that there was something you're not letting go. And what do you know? It flipped over itself, completely moved over there, wanting to be in your energy. Aquarius. Aquarius, Aquarius. Now, um, this was a very obvious sh shift here. So this is where it wants to be. Your person could very much be a Scorpio. That will not be for everyone. But the way it flipped over is pretty incredible. I know that you have been feeling kind of left behind here. We talked about your person still being in your energy, you being in your person's. We see it here now confirmed. Your person also has some guilt here for what happened. We can see them looking down here at this three of cups. What happened, guys? What is that third party? Well, third party can be another person, but it can also be what, what was it that took you guys apart? What I want to say to you here, Aquarius, it feels a lot 
lot, lot, lot like divine timing here. Underneath that divine timing, what does that mean? It means that you're not lined up. You're not in the same place. You have different things going on. Possibly location for some of you can also be having to do with your family here. That, that Taurus energy, um, very interesting. We're not seeing the Hierophant here, but I feel a really strong Taurus energy, and I also feel the Hierophant energy. So it can be religious and cultural differences that will not be for everyone. But guys, your person does have regret. Your person does feel very emotional. I also see, as I said here, you haven't let your person go. They haven't let you go, but there's something you haven't let go. Also, I want to tell you here, and guys, look, that Empress here holding on to that scepter really is the power kind of 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 life. Um, the ruler sort of, of of everybody here, I want to tell you. We know the Empress is all about starting things, growing things. Now, a couple of things. I don't generally go into pregnancies here in my readings. I just want to make that very clear. I will mention because this is the Empress card, that can be the case. But for me, when the Empress is coming down in love readings, aside from the fact that that might resonate for some of you with an actual pregnancy, it's about the fertile ground of growing things. That can also mean new love. Can it mean with your person? Yes, we see that here with the Ace of Cups coming down twice. Can it be somebody completely new? Well, I want to say to you here, right in your second placement is that Hermit energy, Virgo energy, Here's what's very interesting about the Hermit card in this particular deck. Look, somebody's kind of peeking, almost like that, excuse me for that glare, almost like the Page of Swords energy in some way. You might have been keeping an eye on your person, your person as well, keeping an eye on you. This is a nine, guys. Now that can be about fulfillment and attainment, and it is coming here right next to the Ace of Cups. I do feel your person is coming. What kind of offer? Well, we're not really sure, but look what's right underneath the Ace of Cups. Uh, some kind of something to do with your commitment. I have to tell you that. This is the Knight of Pentacles. All about wanting to do the hard work. Also, I want to tell you with that brown horse, it's a whole lot of humility. Your person has a lot of regret and apologies is the first thing I want to tell you. Holding on to that shiny pentacle. Look at the face looking a little bit, will you accept this? This this kind of, I don't know if you can see that, excuse me. A little bit of this look kind of of here, will you take this? We saw the Ace of Cups twice here, guys. More confirmation with that Empress energy. Again, of a pregnancy or a baby, that is just, that is just a fact, but also a new relationship for some of you, and for some of you, a totally new start with your person. It did come down twice, guys. I'm seeing here a decision going on, and we see here in this Virgo um, Hermit energy here, and I think this might be you. Look, because look what is coming right below it. The Seven of Pentacles here, looking at everything you have been doing for this partnership. Little defeated, wondering if you want to continue on here, guys, but also your person here coming in and saying, I'm ready to do the work, make apologies. This is a very apologetic energy, also with a lot of humility. They're really wanting this to work, very much wanting it to work. Um, coming through with that Ace of Cups twice, super emotional. Look at that heart right above it. It's overflowing here, quite literally out of the blue. Look at that cloud poking out. We know this came twice. We see here with the Five of Cups that really wanted to be your person's energy. They do have regrets. They do have humility here and apologies to make. Now, it's very interesting because the first, the first um, placement, excuse me, can be all about you, can be all about your person, can be both of you. The light is changing here, guys. This is all about your person here. And very interestingly enough, the second placement, of course, is about you with your person. We know there's an imbalance here. Yes, there is twin flame soulmate energy. Look, we have the six of cups here, the Scorpio energy. This is your person coming back, Aquarius. Very much your person coming back. Look, um, I think I want to tell you too, not only do I feel like they're watching you, you're watching them doing this work behind the scenes, guys. This Eight of Pentacles. Eight is a couple of things I want to tell you. That's some Gaia 
nurturing mothering energy there. So that's very strong. Can be you had plans for a family with your person that got interrupted. Can be that was part of the disagreement. Something here that came really strong between you. It wasn't the right time maybe for your person or for you. Can also mean involvement with other families. But you know that pregnancy um, energy is strong. But I'm going to leave it at that. But your person here, that eight, is also an action number. It's movement. It's mastering something quite literally and look they're drawing a pentacle they're looking here can be very very much here that your person is trying to figure out how they can come to you better learning some lessons here quite quite literally with this eight of pentacles we see there are possibly other people still involved or were involved here but your person focused here look in the naughty corner <laughs> if you watch my readings you know this has evolved into kind of the place where where your person will go if they've been breadcrumbing or ghosting, that sort of thing. And it's interesting because they're act they've actually been working on themselves. I want to say to you, very much working on themselves so they can come here with this offer. Your person really misses you. It's this very nostalgic energy. Now, it can be somebody really far from the past that's not your person coming here making an offer. New love can also be somebody else it does but for most of you this is your person I have to tell you very very much looking at the picture trying to recreate it so your person here and trying to perfect it and do a good job super super focused these are seven pentacles here excuse me six pentacles here on the side really wanting to come in and make some peace and harmony guys Harmony as in have a more harmonious partnership here. Working to show you those two pentacles here, the two of you. Your person wants to rebalance it. Your person wants to show you here that they have changed. And this is what I didn't get a chance to finish saying. <laughs> that hermit card energy. This is a lot of you here in your relationship placement today. Aquarius, that hermit energy. You've been really not sure what you want to do here. Really really in deep thought about this. Some of you can still be in this. Some of you can be coming out now, getting ready to talk to your person. Perhaps they've already come. It can quite literally be a knock on the door here, guys. We see that. Can also be a message coming through. But your person has been thinking about this for a while. Look at that. A little bit of stubbornness here. Look at they're looking down here. What is that? We know what that is. That is the laurel wreath. It's a little bit um, in, a, in a couple of pieces here. They're looking down on it. They have been, I do feel like there's a little bit of ego or arrogance um, to that, something to that effect there, but definitely some stubbornness. We see that here in the King of Pentacles, but they've been holding on to you. They have not let you go. They've been thinking for a long time. For a very long time, this connection is a very spiritual connection. And for some of you, it goes back in time, like really far. If you're on a past life's journey, that is confirmation for you. That is not for everyone I know. If it's not you, please let that go. It's clear here your person has been holding on to you. They've been stubborn, possibly hiding their feelings, maybe not wanting to give in to something here. But in the background there, look trying to right some wrongs here, trying to show that they've learned some lessons and wanting to come quite literally and offer that to you. Um, we're going to get to the Knight of Swords in just a moment here, coming right below the King of Pentacles. But I didn't finish saying the Seven of Pentacles. This is you so much thinking about everything that happened, that seven, a lot about reflection, on the past and assessing what has happened and assessing where you want to go. Um, the other thing I want to tell you is that can also be a little bit about control, that number. There is a little bit of a message here to go with the flow a little bit more with your thoughts is what I want to say. Not necessarily, of course, agreeing to whatever offer just to agree but to release something because that is coming through here very strong in the seven of pentacles for you today. And this empress energy really wanting to be in your energy. Look at all the pentacles here. It's a lot of growth, a lot of new movement for you. Aquarius also very, very strong with the empress card. Well, and we see that with the ace of cups, but with you starting something now, either restarting with your person here, 
as I said, and for some of you, it can be with that Empress energy that's new love here. You've also been working on yourself, um, working hard as well. That's what I want to say. That does come through very strong. But you here in your second relationship placement, trying to decide what it is you want to do here. And that seven of pentacles, again, that is some Taurus energy, and you've been waiting. That's the other thing. You've been waiting a long time. Whether you are coming out and talking to your person, and maybe some of you might have some new love already in the horizon that's not for everybody, or giving it more time if you feel like you need to stay in that hermit card a little a little bit longer, excuse me, then that's what's for you. But you have been waiting and it feels like the wait is over for you. Whatever decision that you're wanting to make here with your person, peeking up on them as well. <laughs> They're peeking up on you. Look, she's wearing a star here. And as we know with that hermit energy, it is about a, 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 a wake up and it can be what you want. Can be um, a lot of you, of course, are, are you're here on a spiritual journey. I want to say that too, but going inside and trying to figure out what it is you want in your life. Um, really quite literally what we know about the hermit card, a quest, a quest for some balance in your life and figuring out this wait that's been going on, do you want to keep waiting? Has it been worth the wait? Will you move on? It is going to be different for everyone exactly what you're going to do, your outcome. It's yours, guys. You have free will. Everyone does. Your person, too. But you have the Empress card here. So whatever it is you're going to do, Aquarius, you have the Empress energy for growing and starting new things, holding on to that scepter. One little thing again, though, little tiny message of something to let go. And we see that. We see that in the Hermit energy coming out of that. We see that in the Seven of Pentacles. As I said, with that Seven, a lot about control issues and maybe needing to go with the flow a little more here. And that comes through also in that Empress card. We have that very fast moving emotional energy. And there is a little pool of water here um, that can collect things. So there are some things that you're not totally letting go of, I wanted to say to you. But this Empress card can be, again, there's pregnancy here for some of you. That, that is just not for everyone, of course. But fertile grounds, guys, to start things. A new love, all right? Very, very much. So much new love energy here. Whether you are taking your person's apology and you guys are restarting, and your person here also might even be coming in here with a proposal. We know the Ace of Cups came down twice. We saw it in the cut deck with the Wheel of Fortune, which you're in Aquarius. We saw that. It was very um, wanting to be seen very early on in the reading. We see your person here with the Knight of Pentacles having this humility, this apologetic um, energy, I want to say to you, with that pentacle, that commitment, that offer. The practicalities underneath that too. There were some things in the timing between you that weren't working out that maybe somebody wasn't agreeing on or wasn't ready for. Your person is wanting to show you that. We see here with that hermit energy, you've been in thought about that, whether it is... Um, whether it's what you want, excuse me, also in that seven of pentacles here. I'm very much waiting and waiting. We see that somebody has been watering these pentacles. I think that might be you as we talked about your person holding on there with that, that onto that pentacle there, that commitment for a while, being quite stubborn, looking here at that laurel wreath, wanting that reunion. And what do we have here? The Knight of Swords. Quickly, guys, very emotional, very passionate, very much wanting to clear air. This particular deck, the sword is cutting into the, the air. <laughs> now, the sword energy is about giving and offering clarity, and that's what you've been wanting here in the Hermit card. It's also a very strong transactional energy, I want to tell you. Guys, this Empress energy wanted so desperately to be yours. The Ace of Cups here twice, the Empress here, your person sitting here on the Knight of Pentacles, excuse me guys, I'm making a big old mess here, <laughs> also sitting here on the Knight of Swords wanting to offer you that clarity. 
has been trying to make some wrongs into a right here. Look at that. Wanting to show you with the Knight of Pentacles and also show you here with the Eight of Pentacles, which is movement. I'm just making a big old mess. <laughs> but that Eight of Pentacles, guys, look at that. What is coming right below that? I'm just going to let these stay down there for now. That Six of Cups energy, your person, the person you're here for today. They've been thinking a lot about it. They have been stubborn. You've also been in very deep thought about it. But your person here, guys... Um, I don't know how else to. I keep dropping everything, so <laughs> I feel like I need to um, to set them down. I'm going to set them down here. Your person here with that Six of Cups doing all this work, holding on. You've been waiting and waiting and waiting here. There is something we know you need to let go there in that Empress Energy Aquarius and Cross Watchers. But your person here really has some apologies to make, has been wanting to, has been stubborn about it. You have been waiting, and here they come with that Six of Cups. Here they come. That Ace of Cups, guys. That Six of Cups. The Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Swords. And you here in that Empress energy. Possibly this entire new start with your person and it can include for some of you a proposal. I say that, but I know that's not for everyone. I know that. However, I have to say to you, some of you, that is part of what was going on. Something to do with marriage and family, possibly children. So your person here has been thinking for a long time, doing work here. For a lot of you, that is a proposal. For some of you, it's the proposal for something new together. We see that in the Empress energy. We see this nostalgia coming through your person here with the Six of Cups, and we see them coming here with that offer on the Knight of Pentacles and in the Knight of Swords, wanting to offer that clarity. And there goes the camera. <laughs> oh my gosh, Aquarius, your reading is um, really amazing. Wow. Wow, 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 Aquarius. Okay, um, I could keep on a going, as you know, with me and my readings, but I'm going to move on now. We're going to look at more channeled song messages. These are direct messages through song from your person. Can be an entire song, can also be a song that is of, of relevance to you or your person, and can also be that there's a message in there, a name, a location, something that's resonating for you. And if you ever feel like you're sending the song or you're sending the love message, please go with that. It is what resonates for you. And before we get into that, I do need to remind you, if you're ever feeling like some energy is coming through and it's vice versa what you're hearing, then that is how it is for you. This is a general reading. There's a lot of energy here today, so sometimes messages are going to be in reverse, vice versa, that sort of thing. So take what resonates for you, Aquarius and Cross Watchers. What do you want to say to your Aquarius through song? Wow, that was very, I don't know, I just got goosebumps as that flipped over. I keep crying. I keep trying for you. There's nothing like you and I, baby. Sade, ordinary love. Interesting energy to have come down. Who is that? Well, your person for sure. I'm very goosebumpy. I need to <laughs> I need to stop for a minute here. Aquarius, your person here just has been making you wait in that seven of pentacles. We see them in the king of pentacles and we see you waiting here in the seven. But wow, here they come. Here they come. They're in that little naughty corner trying to fix whatever wasn't working, trying to come back in a different way. Offer some apologies here. Really deep, deep, deep ones, guys, with the six of cups manifesting you here with those four cups. So emotional, manifesting a much stronger foundation, a really stable foundation with you here. You are looking up, not your, you are a little bit apprehensive. And we see that in the, the Hermit card as you kind of peek also while you are getting some perspective and trying to figure things out and very much in that Seven of Pentacles. And again, we even know in the Empress energy, there's something you're holding on to. So you guys will need to do a lot of work, a lot of talking here. Um, but this is a whole new start. 
This is a whole new start, Aquarius. Things are not forgotten. We see it all on the table here. Um, things that have happened, things that were said. And divine timing is super, super, super big in this connection, guys. Your person is feeling it. I feel like there's a lot of a clear path for you. Now, if you feel like that is not, you're not ready to start with your person, then that, again, that is how it resonates for you. And we do see that apprehension here in some of you. Um, it's very strong. Okay, that just landed on the Six of Cups. So I'm gonna keep it there and we'll look at it. As I write this letter, send my love to you. Remember that I'll always be in love with you. P.S. I love you, the Beatles. Yeah, for some of you, as I said, it can be that your person is coming in here with a message, an SMS or a letter. I do feel it's a knock on the door or it's a discussion, but it can also be for those of you long distance because that does come through like really big differences that they're going to want to talk about that, possibly coming. But guys, who, Aquarius, Aquarius and Crosswatcher, is this you? Are you coming in here? Are you going to send a message, test the waters, see if you can come? It's really strong. Let's look at this. It landed on the Six of Cups. When you walk through a storm, hold your head up high and don't be afraid of the dark. At the end of the storm is a golden sky and the sweet silver song of a lark. You'll never walk alone, Nina Simone. Who? Super, super goosebumpy. This was written by Richard Rogers, by the way. Guys, yeah, your person here. You guys have very, very deep connection that goes for a long way. Now, for some of you, you might even have had, not had your person per se that you visibly have had in your life physically or, you know, might not go back to your childhood or even further back as we know, but you feel that way. That's what I want to say. It's one of those connections, guys. It is the Six of Cups. This is Twin Flame Soulmate Energy. Doesn't mean if, you, if you're not on the Twin Flame journey or you just don't believe in it, let that go. I will always acknowledge my Twin Flames. Can be a soulmate journey here. Regardless, this connection, Aquarius, this person you have come here for today, has never let you go. You've never let them go. It's a very deep, deep connection here. A lot of things have happened between you. Things also in your lives, really big things here. And I feel also that it can be you're coming out of something, Aquarius, quite serious in your life too. Um, you, we emit those energies to people, guys, especially people we have strong spiritual connections with. When we're, whatever vibration we're in, whether we have a high vibration or a low vibration, um, People will telepathically send messages to us or we'll get a much needed letter or a much needed phone call or a message from a departed or a message from a friend. Now, whatever that is, your person though, um, yeah, the energy here is incredible. Aquarius, 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 I feel like you have been sending, whether you know it or not, telepathic messages, your person as well. This just wanted to get pushed off. You're asking me will my love grow i don't know i don't know you stick around now it may show i don't know i don't know the beatles something that's you look oh aquarius yeah you've been hesitant a lot has gone on you guys here some of you may have already moved on i have to say not everybody but we see the empress here we saw the ace of cups twice it can be you started something here but I tell you, <laughs> this apprehension for some of you not being sure is very much here. Look, what is a watering can? Well, it's there to grow the pentacles. This is a love reading, a no contact love reading, but it's a love reading. Those are the commitment. Those are the commitment. We know you have been waiting. You know, we know it has been in balance. You've been giving more. You are apprehensive. Your person is saying here, the Ace of Cups, we saw it twice. I'm coming, I'm coming. There is that Knight of Pentacles. I'm coming with this offer. Are you ready? You're not sure in that Hermit card energy. And again, that Seven of Pentacles energy here, as we talked about, that that weight, that the fact that you have been giving more here, looking at some of you tired of waiting, but apprehensive, not sure. Your person has been never let you go. But sitting here looking at that laurel wreath for a reunion, holding on to that pentacle, being stubborn as heck about it. Now all of a sudden they want to come. Phew, fast. 
fast with that transactional sword energy on that white horse speeding in very emotional very passionate look like they they better hurry up and get to you they're holding on to the harness tight um guys here in that background next to that king of pentacles while you were waiting in the seven your person here in that eight of pentacles trying to do things for some of you that might be gosh setting up house or some changes that involve this connection that were part of the disconnect your person has been doing that here and there we go with that six of cups guys again that twin flame soulmate energy whether you're on a twin flame journey or not this is the six of cups this is very nostalgic this is the person you came here for your very deep spiritual connection they have been manifesting you back i don't think you've known that here and there we go with that card again ending here with that you're asking me will my love grow i don't know i don't know you stick around now it may show i don't know i don't know that is you there and that seven of pentacles aquarius wow wow you're reading all right i'm gonna stop picking up cards <laughs> i always say that and it's not true i always pick them up don't i it's hard not to um your message i can't get them out fast enough your message is your reading is i don't feel breathless but i feel an urgency i feel this urgency i feel this urgency sort of like just what you think you wait your whole life and even though they're still there you're there you guys are still in each other's energy we see that in the five of cups it's like your person um doesn't want to waste any more time that's what i want to tell you it feels like like that you know pew, pew, coming in i'm not wasting any more time here it's that's what i'm feeling and look what i chose today for you i have not taken out this deck in a really long time what is on here there is that horse with that humility, guys. There is that horse um, wanting a new start with you, wanting to be successful and also wanting to do the work. We see them doing the work. They weren't doing the work. We see them doing the work now, a little bit guilty here. We see it here also in the Knight of Pentacles, Aquarius. I'm very anxious to see what is here. <laughs> All right, these two both want to be in your reading. We'll give them a last chance, then we'll move on. But oh, oh my dear, our love is here to stay. Together we're going a long, long way. In time, the Rockies may crumble, Gibraltar may tumble. They're only made of clay. Ella Fitzgerald, our love is here to stay. Here we go. And that's the other thing I want to tell you. When this card comes down, this is written by George Gershwin, by the way. I do like to acknowledge songwriters is that problems and um, circumstances, the practicalities under the pentacles, guys, and even divine timing is about things lining up. And problems are temporary. There are cycles that we go through. And if we are meant to be with someone and we come back with them, as we see here in the Six of Cups, these things can be worked out. Your person really wants to work things out, um, I have to tell you, and do their work as well. I know you're hesitant, a lot of you, but this line, the Rockies may crumble, Gibraltar may tumble, they're only made of clay. That is the expression, um, or what I want to say is, yeah, just showing you that these issues and these problems do move through. You can let go of whatever it is here in that Empress card, that pool that didn't flow here. You can talk about it and work it out. So it's it's not an issue anymore. But something does need to get talked out between you guys because that is something I do want to say to you. You know, if we don't if we come back together and we don't work out these things, then they're still there, aren't they? And that's partly for some of you in this cycle with this per your person here. Um, why we see this Empress card? Well, we see it for a lot of reasons. This is beautiful for you. It's a, a new start, um, new love with your person. Some of you, new love, new love. Um, but we, I also feel very strongly here that there's something not being let go. And we see that in the Seven of Pentacles here. You've been waiting. And there is a strong message to go with the flow, guys. Oh, you're in my blood like holy wine. You taste so bitter and so sweet. Oh, I could drink a case of you, darling, and I would still be on my feet. Oh, I would still be on my feet. Case of you, Joni Mitchell. Wow. Um, very goosebumpy. I want to tell you, this is the song's about 50 years old. Um, it's a nostalgic card. It's also when this card comes down, it's 
really how connected you are. It's very, very deep. Also, your person could be, I want to tell you, a Capricorn. <laughs> That's just coming through now. But guys, remember when you're hearing signs, it doesn't mean your person is not here. It doesn't mean the reading's not for you. If you're resonating, you're resonating. And also some energies just come through really strong. That is just how it is. Like for example, with Scorpio today <laughs> and Taurus and Virgo, it's just how it, how it goes here, guys. Um, Anyway, also I didn't tell you the Knight of Swords is Aquarius um, energy and Gemini energy, but also Aries and Capricorn do come through. But this particular card is a um, very deep connection between you. And we see that. We see that. And that might, that, that might be, it's just interesting, but kind of what we're seeing here too. Almost a little bit of that Page of Swords energy, like peek, peek. <laughs> um, for some of you too, if your person has already contacted you, that won't be for everyone, but in your Hermit energy here, in your I'm Tired of Waiting Seven of Pentacles energy, but looking. <laughs> Lights are changing here. Your person too, but I see that with you. Okay, we won't forget to read these guys, all right? Uh, last chance. I cannot do my little singing for you today. I'm still recovering, guys. There's nothing we can't overcome if you let me be your only one. There's nothing we can't overcome if you let me be your only one. United together, Aretha Franklin here. United together, that Six of Cups here. United together, that Ace of Cups came down twice, guys. Who? yeah. And that can be that three. That always is um, can be a third party as in a person. As I said, third parties are not always another person. But for some of you, that will resonate, I have to say. And that's coming through in this message. Okay, I'm going to move these um, Living Life cards just for now so that we can use that space. Um, let's set them... <laughs> I hate moving them out of the way. Let's look at your channeled love messages now. Direct messages to you from your person. If you feel you're sending them, you go with that Aquarius and Cross Watchers. I love you more than I have ever found a way to say to you. Yes, I think of you constantly. Aquarius. I'm thinking of that song. Age of Aquarius. Is that the right? Am I singing it right? Okay. I'm being silly, you guys. You're reading, um, the energy is beautiful. And it's also very, it is very uplifting. It is very, very much new changes here, guys. You coming out of that hermit energy, feeling stronger, I have to say. If you're still in it, you stay in there as long as you need to be. We see that in the Seven of Pentacles a little bit, a little disillusionment, a little sick of waiting here. You are my other half. All right, Aquarius, this isn't surprising, is it? Your entire reading with the Ace of Cups coming down twice, the Knight of Cups here, the Knight of Swords even coming in fast. The work here they weren't doing, but holding on, wanting that reunion, the work they're doing now. And here is that Six of Cups, guys. The person you have come here for today, Twin Flame Soulmate Energy, that's how it is. Whatever journey you're on, it's the spiritual connection. Your person is acknowledging that. And a lot of times I feel like Someone's person might be acknowledging it, but might, might not know. Your person knows. That's the thing. And that's why there is a little, there's some wake up energy of, oh my gosh, I better, I, I don't want to lose any more time here. I don't want to lose any more time. I better get moving. Yeah. Who? Especially for those of you that may have shown your person that you're moving on or they've heard it or they're worried about that for sure. Because you have always been there for them. That comes through very strong. It's all my fault. Okay. Yeah, gosh, you guys. Where do I want to put that? I'm going to put that here. That could be part of what they're wanting to talk about here with that sword. So that might mean it's an uncomfortable conversation, I have to tell you. Um, that energy there. But it's going to be imperative. If you guys are going to get through that. Those Rockies are going to crumble. Gibraltar may tumble. They're made of clay. And carry on here. Who? Do you miss me the way I miss you? Oh, Aquarius. I love you. Aquarius. <laughs> we see that. We see it. We see a very big, a very big... Well, as we know, a proposal can be a marriage proposal, as we know, but it can also just be this proposal 
Take My Heart. Gosh, that song, the Nat King Cole song, Take My Heart, but please don't, please don't break it. Love was made for you and me. I wish I could sing for you today, because <laughs> that song is very strong. I trust that the universe will bring us together. Gosh, you guys, that's very strong here. Yeah, that goes belongs with the Six of Cups. Can you hear me whisper your name? There are those telepathic messages. It's a very strong connection between you. Yeah. So much regret. Yeah, um, we see that. We know that your person has regret. We talked a lot about that um, regretful energy. In the Eight of Pentacles, as they look down and focus here, um, regret from the King of Pentacles energy of being stubborn here, although wanting the reunion, not telling you, hiding their feelings, letting time pass, things happen. Look, putting that right for you to look at. Look, they want you to see that. So much regret, Aquarius. And it's coming here right as they hand that pentacle to you. And look at the two of you here looking at each other. You're both really wanting to talk and wanting this to work. I feel this a little stubbornness from you too, and I understand it. Um, I do. But guys, look at your reading here. Okay. Face it, Aquarius. No, <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm being silly. I thought that I knew how to love until I met you. Oh, Aquarius, this makes me want to cry. Why? Because, yeah, your person is just having all kinds of epiphanies here. And I want to put that there. Can't even be for some of you that there is an actual too, like um, a gift coming. I want to say to you, with that six of cups there, that can come through. We know it's nostalgic. We know it's also about reunions. We know your person has been thinking about it for a long time, but holding back. Um, but it can also quite literally be that they're working on something for you. For some of you, that might be a song, um, a poem, a, a picture, a you know painting, that sort of thing. Also, just quite simply sending or, or leaving something at your doorstep or sending something through the mail. Maybe even some kind of um, virtual thing. That just came through really strong. I'm still checking on you. <laughs> Isn't it weird how we see that in the hermit energy? But we do. It's this little laptop here. Your person too here. Because we see them not we see them not looking up, holding on to it, being stubborn, even though they want the reunion. Double double bulls there, I have to tell you. <laughs> that king of pentacles. That stubborn energy comes through super, super strong. And I just love how they're that peeking up with the computer. You're checking up on each other, but your person's sending that through. Okay, I was gonna say last chance, and this is it. I miss you. Yeah, that's just not even a question here. And I don't think that that's going to be long now. The Tarot Closet channeled love messages. I'm sorry I ran. Yeah. Lots of regret here. Also, when you have those types of connections, sometimes people think, oh, they're not going anywhere. You know, because it is a Six of Cups connection, your person did think that. And yeah, maybe in the long run, um, but short term, your life now, guys, think of it as like the minor arcana. You've got stuff going on. You know, of course you do. Your person knows that. We see that in the Seven of Pentacles, being tired of that. Look, there it is. There's the wake up energy. Yeah, I'm sorry I ran. I'm waking up. Very much they're waking up. I'm not going to pull up all the cards again, but that's very strong in that Knight of Swords energy, guys. Um, we see that, too, as your person is here working away, guys. <laughs> that Eight of Pentacles. Wow, your reading has been phenomenal, Aquarius. Really. Look at that. Okay, you have changed me for the better. Yeah, very much. See that in the Six of Cups too. You are my other half. Ooh, guys, when that happens, I was scared. Yeah, the I was scared and, um, excuse me, so much regret. Yeah, very much, guys. Look at that. You are my other half. You are my other half. I love you. 
I miss you. So much regret. The Ace of Cups twice. The Knight of Pentacles here. The Knight of Swords even, guys, in your person doing that work here behind the scenes, getting ready to come here with that offer with the Six of Cups. Who? Aquarius. Aquarius, your reading um, is amazing. All right, we're going to give your person one last chance here. There it is. Oh, here we go. So many songs remind me of you. Yeah, a lot of you guys have a connection to music here. I feel like I want to give them another chance. Can be some, for some of you. Very. It's not going to be for everyone, but they might be um, making a song for you or even sending you a song. That could also be the gift. Something really nostalgic. Okay, that one dropped. Just a minute. I need to get it on the floor. And then now, guys. I dream of you. Okay, yeah. And this is the last one. Please forgive me. Aquarius, you're reading. Okay, guys, I'm going to channel um, your card here. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. What would you like to send down for our Aquarius viewers and or cross watchers? Oh, did one just flip over? What happened there? Why do I feel like one just flipped? Okay, but this is in my hand. I think it was this one, and now this also wants to come. Gosh, you guys. Okay, that's how it's going today. Um, we're gonna, um, we're actually going to, <laughs> let's look at them. Normally I wait and do your, I wanted to do numbers and letters for you today, but they're really wanting to be looked at. Every movement of your body, every emotion you have, and every thought that passes through your mind is an expenditure of energy. Who? Oh, that's beautiful. And we were talking a lot about how people do feel your energy. That goes for your person too. Every movement of your body, every emotion you have, and every thought that passes through you, your mind is an expenditure of energy. So be careful where you put that energy, guys. And again, that is spirit coming through strong with that seven of pentacles and that empress energy. The part of the Empress energy that's saying to let it go. We see that in that Seven of Pentacles here to go with the flow, guys. Um, the energy it takes to hold on to something that can be worked out or even hold on to a person, whatever that is here, can emotionally and physically drain you. That is the message there. Break the habit of thinking that the solution to your problems is to rearrange things outside. The only permanent solution to your problems is to go inside. <laughs> I'm very goosebumpy and let go of the part of you that seems to have so many problems with reality. Wow, guys, um, there is a double, triple, what is that? Confirmation from spirit here. What What is that that needs to be let go that might be holding you back? I'm um, here in that Empress energy, either with your person or new love or just simply for you. Aquarius, Aquarius, your reading's been phenomenal. This is your last card. You are great. You are a great being who has been given a tremendous opportunity to explore beyond yourself. Oh, I love this for you. Yeah, guys, that Empress energy is just so, so strong here. Also, guys, it does come through. It can be your parents with your person, or maybe you are. That is just part of the Empress energy here. But lots of abundance, lots of things coming to you. I want to tell you, Aquarius, this is your no contact love reading. And I am trying to send less life, not so many life messages, because you get so many messages. And I just, readings, as you know, we're getting so long that I'm trying to Put a cap on that a little here, but guys, um, stuff way out of your control is what I want to say here. And the divine, your higher power, what is your higher power, Aquarius? What is that to you? Your God, your goddess, the universe really is different for everyone. And that is also a, a message for you. Looking outside and beyond yourself and beyond that ego. Ego is important. We make, we can't live without ego. It's not a terrible thing. It can be, we use it against ourselves and other people use it, whatever. Um, but this is really about looking outside, guys, here, coming out of that, going into going into the spiritual aspect of your life, excuse me, when you come out of that hermit energy. This is very much um, a lot like that hermit energy here, guys, um, as we talked about Virgo energy, but it really is about going within, getting some clarity, a spiritual, spiritually waking up to your person as well as you, but this is yours. How beautiful. 
Okay, Aquarius, look, this is you. <laughs> Amethyst is as you, Aquarius. Really does help clear your mind, guys, helps you develop your develop confidence. And you know what else it does? It helps you reach your destiny here. Wanted to be held as I read this card for you. Good things going on for you, Aquarius. I love your reading. I'm very goosebumpy. Okay, we're going to get some numbers and letters today. All right, angel messages can come through, just so you know with the numbers. Can also be birth dates, anniversaries, zero, four, five. Well, looks like you got one, three, three. I love this for you. All right, you know what this is about? Magic is unfolding. It's time to go deeper, guys, and you know what else? What is your higher purpose? That's what I want to tell you. And with these threes, your spirit guides, your angels, ancestors, they're all working for you right now. They're all conspiring to help you outside of yourself. This is such a confirmation. That Empress Energy, get in it. <laughs> get in it, Aquarius. I love that for you. There's a one, eight, six. Look, eight. Where'd that eight go? <laughs> oh, I love this for you. Guys, you know what this is? <laughs> well, this is balance for yourself. Um, I want to tell you the three eights, getting some balance, rebalancing. We see that with the hermit energy. Also, this is really kind of tapping in and becoming one and uniting with the universe with those three eights. Wow, your messages are so strong, Aquarius, here. Trusting Excuse me. I hate when that stops when I'm, <laughs> I'm talking. Letting go of those things that might be holding you back or might be hurting you. That energy expenditure that we see here where put your energy where things are positive and moving for you guys and not the negative. That's what I want to say to you. It's super, super strong message, whatever that's going to be. Look, this was in my numbers and letters here. It's a yin-yang, balance. We just talked about it, quite literally rebalancing here also with those three eights, guys. And that was there, it did not belong there. Oh my gosh, okay, there's a two. Aquarius, I don't know what else to say. <laughs> there's some letters for you. It can be initials, locations. There's an O, C, N, U, L. There's another L, an A, J, or C. Oh my gosh, Aquarius. Okay. I'm very goosebumpy still. The fact that this was in there is just so strange because just it's my numbers letters bowl. <laughs> it doesn't belong there, but it does. It was meant for you. It was meant for you. I'm gonna hold it up. Whoops. Look at that. Right on the seven of pentacles. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That spirit's been talking to you a lot through the seven of pentacles here. This rebalancing necessary. I'm putting it there. But I'm going to hold this up if you want a screenshot or pause the video. All right, Aquarius, that's your reading. It's been amazing to channel for you. Very inspiring. Um, I want to cry, but in a very empress way. <laughs> very inspiring way. I tell you, with this camera. <laughs> All right, I'm not going to go on about that, but your reading has been very inspiring, very beautiful. I wish you all things good, Aquarius. Make sure if you like this video to give me those thumbs up, guys. It really does help me grow and it helps me know what you like, what you want more content or what you want to see more of. And feel free to share if you um, know people that you think might resonate or enjoy my readings. Also, check out the playlist down below and don't forget about the giveaway. I am giving away Oracle and Tarot decks right now. The giveaway will end Gosh, what is that? March 27th, I want to say. <laughs> anyway, I'm going now. Love you, Aquarius. I look forward to seeing you at your next reading. Take care. Bye.